Good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome to another vlog, another day. Uh, here in Mississippi, about to get ready to roll. As like I was telling y'all yesterday, uh, this big old nasty parking lot out here, y'all can see it. It's, it's a big old nothing but dirt. And yep, woke up with a truck full of dirt. But at the same time, she ain't looking very clean anyways. Check her out. Got bugs all over the dang place. We uh, do a quick tire check real quick. We already did the rest of the pre-trip. So I'll check the tires before we roll up out of here. Get back on the road. Beat on the tires. <laughs> yeah, get back on the road and uh, make it to St. Louis, guys. Make it to St. Louis, hopefully safe and sound. No issues. And, uh, yep, so uh, we'll see you guys a little bit later after I get through with this tire check. looks pretty good sounded pretty good uh, at least uh, twice a week I do a, a tire check with the with with the uh, pressure gauge but uh, most of the time you just hit the tires you kind of know what it sounds like and uh, and that's it so we're ready to, we're ready to roll out I'm gonna go inside wash up real quick get me some uh, something to eat see what they got to eat hopefully they ain't got nothing fried to eat I'm, I'm tired of eating fried stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm up to here with fried stuff. And uh, but if they don't, if they got some some fried food, I just say I ain't gonna get none. I'm just gonna keep on rolling. But uh, again, guys, see you guys a little bit later. What's up, guys? We're in Tennessee at the Tennessee Welcome Center right now. I had done some video earlier and I accidentally uh, erased it, so my bad. So I'm gonna put y'all up here on top of the trailer so y'all can check out the view of uh, Memphis, Tennessee as uh, we go across uh, some, some low bridges and um, one of the uh, old uh, old bridges that go over I don't think it's part, I don't think that's the Mississippi River could be the Arkansas River I'm not 100% sure uh, but you will be able to, uh, I'm gonna put y'all up on top of the trailer so y'all can, oh, what's this? I don't know what that is. We'll put y'all up on top of the trailer that way y'all can enjoy the ride up there. So here we go guys, I'm gonna go ahead and set y'all up up there. Make it up to the top. Let's see how I can let me set y'all up so y'all won't fall off. Let's see. Alright, so I'm gonna put that on there. And then I'm gonna I zip tie you guys. I use these zip ties to zip tie you to the rail. That way, in case the mount falls off, you guys won't fall off too. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the audio because I'm using external audio. And uh, I need that, that area to put the zip tie. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that.
pretty sure y'all can still hear me a little bit. The audio is not terrible on this, these GoPros, but nonetheless, I put the other audio so it's a little better. So. Set y'all up. Uh, Point y'all down a little bit. All right, guys, let's get out of here. guys let's get back on this road we are at uh well about to get back back on here we're not that far from graceland guys from elvis presley's home you know i've been around there a couple times but i've never i never actually have taken the tour i'm not like the biggest elvis presley fan sorry for you guys that are uh not sorry that you guys are Elvis fans, just you know, <laughs> I know what I mean, but um, yeah, I'm not. I guess there's a couple of songs that I might might like, but you know, it's a different era, this wasn't my deal, but yeah, I have been. Uh, I went into uh, the area where they have his cars, which is this, which is uh, it's a building, and they have some of his cars in there, and uh. I just happened to be there one day and they were taking out one of his, uh, it was a black Ferrari of his, which is pretty cool. And of course from the highway you can see the two airplanes that they have there on site. And across the street they have, uh, they have uh, actually, well that's, that's where Graceland actually is. You see the gates where, where you can go in and uh, go take the tour. I don't know how much the tour is guys. Like I said, I've never been really interested in that. I do have a Harley Davidson Elvis Presley uh, t-shirt that I bought at there at Graceland outside the gift shop. Well, actually, they, there's like a Harley um, store like right right down the road. And I think it's like linked up with Elvis because it's got a lot of Elvis stuff in there. And uh, so, yeah, that's it's pretty interesting it looks like there's still a lot of people that, that go check that out which is all is awesome and um, other than that see I worked here I worked here at the refinery at the Valero refinery for I think it was like three or four months if I'm not mistaken um, I was doing like repair work for uh, the refinery they call them uh, turnarounds or uh, shutdowns. This is where they uh, they do maintenance to uh, to these uh, refineries, and uh, that's what I, that's why I know about Graceland because we stayed in a hotel right down the road from Graceland. Now, if you guys think that that area where Graceland is is nice, those of you who haven't been there, it's not very nice. It's a pretty it's a pretty rough neighborhood. But uh, another thing that uh, we used to go do all the time is uh, we would go down to Beale Street, which is downtown Memphis, and there's a lot of bars and restaurants, and that's a real cool place to check out. We actually went to a, uh, a basketball game there. We watched the, because I'm a, I'm a Spurs fan, and I went to watch the Spurs versus the Grizzlies, I think is the team from here. Not 100% sure. So yeah, well, so we, you know, I, I, I know a little bit about this area. Not a whole, whole lot, but you know, three months living here, you get to know the area a little bit. And of course, you got the Mississippi River that goes straight through it. So we're just gonna mosey on through here. Now this place, guys, is for you truckers. You don't pay attention you put yourself in a bind because there's a bridge up ahead and if you pass up the, the exit 
you're supposed to take, you end up trying to make a truck a burn. And that's not a good look. Not to be going down the road at least. These bridges are low, 13.8. Super low bridges. 14.2 is not bad. But yeah, there's a lot of low bridges in this little area, so you gotta pay attention. You gotta keep your eyes open because you don't know, you don't wanna end up, like I said, making your truck into a convertible. <laughs> Can you imagine calling your boss, hey man, um, yeah, you know, the sun, I wanted to have some sun, you know, so I kind of, you know, went underneath the bridge and made the truck convertible. Is that cool? Yeah, I don't think that would <laughs> go very well for anybody. Oh, dude, dude, dude. So we're just going to keep on following 55 North to St. Louis. We're about to come, on the, come up on the Valero. Heck, I didn't even know there was refineries up here until I came up here to work, to tell you the truth. And uh, what we would do is we would install the steam lines that run, run alongside of the pipes. They keep the pipes uh, warm, that way the, the, the fluid can continue uh, moving through uh, pretty quick instead of it freezing up and getting hot. But I don't know if you guys can really tell, on the left hand side here, there's uh, the Valero refinery. Got memories there. I can't say they're great, but they ain't bad either. It's not that bad, it was, it was okay. So this is mosey on through here guys. Actually, guys, right here is where, if you go straight, there's a possibility that you can uh, ruin your truck. Well, 
maybe not the truck. Well, no, I think you're, I think you're fine. My bad, guys. Bad information. Bad information. My bad. <laughs> it's 13.7, and uh, most, most of the dry vans are 13.6. And I know we're way below that. Uh, tankers are, are shorter than, or they're not as tall as. Uh, the uh, dry vans or the vans. I think we're like 12 something. 12 is a change. Yeah, it's crazy how this is a, it's a major highway, but you gotta slow down and do all these little loop de doops little changes here and there. Uh oh. Seems like two big trucks got into it over there. Woo! Yeah. Car hauler and, a, and, a, and another uh, drive van truck. This one place I kind of wanna I wanna come one of these days and just come take pictures of this little, this little area with these old bridges. I just love. I, I'd like to take pictures of old bridges. Over to the, to your right, you see the older. I think this bridge is super old too. Like narrow. Ooh, look at that traffic on that side because of that accident. Uh -huh. Yep, over to our right, which you cannot see, is uh, Memphis, downtown Memphis. Right now we are getting, coming into Arkansas, Arkansas, or Arkansas. <laughs> This is uh, West Memphis. Any truck driver out there that's been on the road for any period of time, you ask them about West Memphis. More than likely, they're not going to be telling you nothing nice about it. I call it the armpit of the United States because it's just a, a nasty, nasty place. Full of everything that you don't need is there. Lot lizards, drugs. Just, this is. I, to me, I, I avoid that place at, at all costs. We have a yard here in this, in this town. So, the cool thing is we can. Uh, the cool thing is that we park in our yard instead of messing with this stuff here. Cause it's nasty. They gave us the red light. Y'all hear that beeping? I don't know if y'all can see it up on the top. Right there, there's a, they call it a pre-pass. And what we do is when we go over these overhangs on these bridges, I mean these bridges, these way stations, if it beats green, we keep on going. But if it beats red, we have to pull in. So, I got the red light, so we, we have to pull in. Now, if you have hazmat, in Arkansas and Arizona, even if you do get the green light, you have to pull in regardless. So, there's no question on that one. You pass it up, they can come after you and they can get you. They can give you a nice, hefty fine. And we definitely don't want to give any money away because they ain't giving, they, we ain't making a lot of it, so we ain't trying to give what little we got to these states, that's for sure. All right, let's see which arrow we get up on top of here. Oh, the, the scales part, part right here. And, okay, okay, we got, we got the bypass arrow, which is the left arrow, or the left side. If not, they would have sent us in there to get weighed, but we were, we're like 76,000 pounds, we're not even, nowhere near being close to uh, to the weight limit of 80,000, that's for sure. Ooh, that river's still high. Tennessee River still, I mean Tennessee, Mississippi River is still over his uh, banks because it's, it's, it's water. Probably not water around here, not this high at least. It's moving too. 
<laughs> I mean, I say that all the time. It's moving too. <laughs> uh, my bad. I've been told I repeat things a little too much on my blog. I'm trying to change it, but sometimes it just just is it is what it is. the most interesting little area around here that I could actually show you guys. I don't know if y'all can see, well, yeah, I got my GoPro up on top of the trailer and I don't know if it's still recording because I think it records in eight minute intervals and I think we passed up our eight minutes and for some reason it doesn't continue uh, recording. The other, my older GoPro, It'll just record until the battery runs out or the, the memory card runs out, one or the other. So maybe we maybe we got some of that, maybe we didn't. So let's just keep on keeping on guys. We'll see you guys a little bit later. Uh, probably probably won't see you guys until we get up there to uh, St. Louis. Might be eh, it might be dark by the time we get there, it might not. Nonetheless, see you guys a little later. Well guys, we finally made it to St. Louis, Missouri. We're actually in St. Louis, Illinois. Right across the river is uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, everything went well. Uh, pretty uneventful as far as uh, any issues along the way, which is always great. It's always great to, to just have a smooth ride and you know all that stuff. But uh, we are going to be late tomorrow because, as you I told y'all, they took a while to load me on uh, whenever I left. Whenever I was. Whenever I left Houston, it took longer to, unlo to load me than they normally should. So that put me behind a couple hours. And actually, those couple hours are the hours that I'm going to be late to deliver tomorrow morning. I'm supposed to be there at 6 in the morning. I'm not going to be there till 8. It is what it is. I'm not going to cry over spilled milk. I tried what I could. and uh, But we're here. The good thing is we're here. and We'll deliver it in the morning. And... Uh, continue our journey so see you guys tomorrow be good to one another be kind to one another help out anybody that's contemplating suicide get them the proper help and we will see you guys mañana peace